Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise here on Madden 21. Now, we come into this game with a winning record, 2-1. and one. I mean, we are not doing bad to start this season. We do have some interesting question marks, though, and I think it's still at the cornerback position. We've tried to address this in the offseason with Traverius Ward. We also have the young guy, Blisson Austin, but also we signed Levi Wallace. Levi Wallace isn't doing too bad on the right side, but the left side of the field is always getting beat by whoever's over there. We tried Bless Austin last year. We also have Traverius Ward over there now. That's a position to keep your eye out on. Now, last episode, we saw Denzel Mims get that star dev upgrade. He now has that trait. Here are the sliders. You guys have asked for these. These are Matt 10's uh, version 2 sliders. I like the way they play right now. And if you guys want to check those out, go to Operation Sports, read about the slider set. This is pretty much the holy grail of sliders. And these are the sliders that we will be rolling with for the duration of this series. Now, we go up against the Colts, and they are led by Jameis Winston. He was signed to a deal in free agency, and it looks like he might be their quarterback of the now and the future. He's decent. I mean, he's number 26 in the league, but you know Jameis Winston. He's going to force passes, so we got to get pressure after him. Now, they did sign Kareem Hunt, and that's one thing about Madden that's still broken in franchise. They always stack at positions they don't need to. I mean, look at their running back group. Kareem Hunt, Mack, Hines, and Jonathan Taylor all in the same backfield. Definitely something that has to be addressed in Madden. So looking at the receiving core, they still have T.Y. Hilton, uh, still have Pittman from USC. So this is going to be a tough game for our, for our cornerbacks because they've been struggling to stop receivers this season. So we start out this game on offense, and out comes Sam Darnold playing on a contract year. Three touchdowns, six interceptions, which is actually on top of the NFL right now. So let's see if he can rebound here. He still has a winning record, and wins will cure everything. So here's Darnold, his first pass to the right side, and he's got Jamison Crowder, and that's a first down. Jamison Crowder's having a good start to his season as he gets us going with a first. So Darnold now from the pocket throws, and it's gonna be deflected, looking for Crowder. Should have led him more to the sideline on that throw. So third and eight, Darnold open is Crowder again at the marker, but it looks like he's gonna be just short. Fourth and one. We're gonna line up to go for it here. On our first drive handoff, it's Le'Veon. He finds a little hole, breaks the tackle, and falls forward for the first down. Now, Le'Veon Bell isn't off to the start that he had last season, but let's see what he can do here in this game versus the Colts, who have a pretty good run defense. As you throw deep down the right side, it's caught. Jamison Crowder reaches for the pylon. 7-0 Jets. Crowder, how about this? Three catches here on this drive. Darnold, that's probably one of his best throws in this series so far, leading Jamison Crowder upfield. I love the animations to reach out for the pylon and we take the lead on the first drive. So here comes Winston leading this Colts team, and now he has a new running back next to him, Kareem Hunt, from the shotgun. His first pass is out to T.Y. Hilden, beating Traverius Ward. I said that that is an issue coming into this game, and uh-oh, Quinnen Williams is down. Hopefully Williams is all right as I get a first down at the 36. Hand off Kareem Hunt. Big time hole. Puts on a move on the rookie Alex Hopkins. He gets to the second level. And he gets to the 42. First down tackle by Marcus May. Now Kareem Hunt is one of the best running backs in the game today. And can you believe it? I mean, he's on a team with two great running backs. I mean, that's two top 10 running backs in real life with the Browns. Is he still on the Browns? I'm not sure. So third and four this time from the 36. Winston in the pocket. Nobody to throw it to. It's a sack. Henry Anderson filling in for Quinton Williams after he went down with that injury. And we do force the punt. So now we have an opportunity to drive once again. The first pass is Le'Veon across the middle on the arrow route, beating Darren Lee. And that's a gain of 10 yards. Hand off right back to him, and he picks up the first. Remember, they have DeForest Buckner on their defensive line. They still have Justin Houston as well. You know, Justin Houston I always thought was older than what he is. He's still in his uh, low 30s. I believe he's 31 at this point. 
So second and 14, a play action fake and throw. It's Ryan Griffin. He actually has a pretty hefty contract. I might try to offload that maybe at some point here in this season. We'll have to see. So now Darnold, play action fake. Second and five, he's gonna test it deep. Denzel Mims and picked off Malik Hooker. And that was an opportunity just to try one deep and it's just good coverage on that one and double coverage. And honestly, that was just a forced throw. And now Darnold has his first interception of this game. So Winston back it onto the field, handoff, Kareem Hunt. He shows some patience and gets upfield. It's a gain of nine for Kareem Hunt. So second and two, no sighting of Marlon Mack at all, and Kareem Hunt stays in the game, and he picks up a first down. Tackle by C.J. Mosley. So from the shotgun now, Jameis throws to the right side. It's the first catch by Pittman out of USC, and he beats uh, Levi Wallace in coverage that time. So as we start the second quarter, they're across the 50. Jameis, he's going to have time. And he throws to a wide open Pittman. It's a foot race to the end zone. He gets tackled at the four by Alex Hopkins. And that's going to be a first down throw. Winston looks good early on. So from the five yard line, first and goal, handoff, Kareem Hunt. And it's going to be a touchdown. Fadukazi couldn't get there. And that's going to be a 7-7 game here for the Colts. And now here comes Darnold back onto the field, coming off of a turnover. So here are the first pass is going to be caught. Le'Veon Bell. And it's a gain of about six yards. So from the 33, Bell remains in the game. We're going to hand it off to him. Bell cuts back, and he finds some room. It's a first down. Darius Leonard on the stop that time. But their run defense has been keeping Bell in check so far, only 17 yards rushing. It's a handoff, Bell, second and four. Another stuff. That time, that time is Darren Lee. So Darnold under center this time for a third and two. Quick throw and it's picked off. That was a wide open pass to Denzel Mims and Darnold just misses him. He threw to the right behind Denzel Mims. That was just a sit down route. Find the open zone and sit down. And it ends up being the second interception of the game for Darnold. Now that one was Darnold's fault. So here's a screen pass out the next drive. Kareem hunts and he picks up a first down. And that one gets them to about field goal range at the 32. So second and 10, we send the pressure and we get to him. It is the rookie Brad Matthews. They only give him credit for a half sack on that one even though he was the only one that threw him down. So third and 15 now, here is Jameis. He's gonna throw deep down the right side. He's got Michael Pittman Jr. Touchdown. What a route. Take a look at the release on Levi Wallace. He basically just books him off of the line and that is gonna be a touchdown and cash it in. It's 14-7 here for the Colts. So here's Darnold. Let's see if he can come back from two straight drives with interceptions as he hands off to Le'Veon. That's his longest run of the day. So this is Tariq Macklin in the backfield. Look at this package, handoff. Macklin gets some blocking. He's got speed down the left sideline. It's a touchdown. Tariq Macklin, the tight end, lined up at running back. Six foot five, 240 plus pounds. Try catching that speed also in the open field. He's a freak of nature. It's 14 up. So now here are the Colts back out onto the field. The Colts did not expect that. I don't know, I think they were lost on that play. Here is Kareem Hunt, and he gets nine right back. So Winston hands off, Hunt, nice stop. CJ Mosley in the backfield. Let's see if we can come up with a stop here on third down. So third and three, screen pass, and we get to him. It's gonna be Nathan Shepard playing here with some playing time and now we have three sacks here in this first half. So here is Darnold backing onto the field. His first pass is out to Denzel Mims who runs out of room but holds on to that one. Let's see if we can put together a nice two minute drill here before halftime. So Darnold throws Berrios first down. Berrios has been quiet this year but he's been actually pretty good on the outside. So here is Darnold, throw to left side on a first and 10, makes a move across the 35 yard line and he gets tackled 
And that's going to be about only a gain of four. So second and six. Darnold throws. It's Denzel Mims. It's a first down. He gets to about the 20-yard line. He's looking for his second straight 100-yard game as Darnold throws once again to Mims. He gets to the first down marker. We have all three timeouts, so we decide to burn one. So 14-14 now, Darnold, he's going to hand off Bell. Wide open hole, and it closes quickly. It's a tackle by Durant, Darren Lee, and that's about six yards. We get it to the two now. Third and two, quick throw to left side. Bell tries to reach out, but he can't get to the first down marker and the end zone. So we line up to go for it here at the two. Fourth and one before half. It's a throw, wide open, Herndon, touchdown. Chris Herndon led our team in touchdowns last season. Crowder's leading us so far this year, but we take the seven point lead right before half. So here is Winston. They have one timeout left, just trying to get something going, and it's a sack. Lucky that wasn't a strip sack. How about Nathan Shepard? Two sacks here in the first half for him. And he's filling in for Quentin Williams, who looks like he's going to be hurt for the rest of the game. It's a 21 to 14 game going into halftime. How about these Jets? So here we go to start the second half. Jameis Winston has not thrown an interception, but has been sacked a few times. His first pass of the second half is going to be caught. And that is Kareem Hunt out of the backfield. He picks up a first down. So from the 36, Winston, RPO, and he just takes it himself up the middle. It's a gain of five yards. That was a free shot on the quarterback we just missed. Second and five, quick throw, T.Y. First down, beating Ward in coverage. T.Y.'s been quiet, though. I don't know if he hasn't been open or what, but Ward looks like he's doing a little bit better this game. So handoff across the 50. Now it's C.J. Mosley bringing down uh, Kareem Hunt. So Marlon Mack finally checks in. Third and one, big time run. And it's a first down, gain of 10 yards for him to about the 26 yard line. So now here is Winston inside the red zone. Quick throw to Jack Doyle, picking up the first. And now they get it to about the 12 yard line. Marlon Mack checks in again, cut back. He puts on a move and gets inside the five yard line and now it's about three yards to the goal line. Third and inches, handoff. Kareem Hunt is stopped. Jordan Jenkins, he's moved over from the left side to the right this year. And now we get the stop, but it looks like the Colts are going to line up to go for it. Fourth and one. Marlon Mack falls in. Touchdown. And that one will be a game-tying run on that one. Marlon Mack gets in, and now they bring it to 21 up. So now here's Darnold back onto the field. Quick throw to the right side, and Mims has speed around the edge. He burns the cornerback and gets eventually run down. But a big time catch and run by Mims. Is he going to have another 100 yard day? We'll see. So play action fake call this time. Le'Veon Bell throw to left side. It's Mims again. How good has Mims developed? I mean, this is this is really really solid development here we're seeing from him remember last year he couldn't even get open on routes but now he's beating guys in one-on-one -on -one. so now we get inside the five now for an eventual third and goal as his third quarter does wind down it looks like p ryan earned it in the backfield darnold moves let's see what he does will he throw he's gonna take it himself and gets tackled at about the three and I'm thinking Pep Hamilton's going to kick the field goal, and he does, making it 24 to 21 going into the fourth quarter. So Winston back out onto the field. He has not turned the ball over yet. He throws to an open man. And C.J. Mosley in coverage, that's always a mismatch nightmare. And now here they are at the 46. So here is Jameis. In the pocket, Got running out of time, it's a sack. Henry Anderson, his second sack of the game. How about these defensive ends getting after Jameis? That's five sacks. So Nathan Shepard and Anderson both have two each. Third and 20, throw across the middle. Kareem Hunt, he picks up a whole lot of room, makes a man miss two, and gets to about the 45, but is just short of the first down marker. 
They line up to go for it here. Fourth and one at the 45. Jameis, handoff, Hunt, breaks the tackle. Off to the races. Nobody's catching Kareem Hunt. It's a touchdown for the Colts. And they take the four-point lead here in the fourth quarter. And now Kareem Hunt looks like he is putting the team on his back. Let's see if Darnold has a little bit of magic. So he throws on his first pass, the left side, and it's picked off, intended for Denzel Mims, Malik Hooker. He's actually picked off Darnold three times in this series alone. So now the Colts get it as they set up here inside the five yard line. So handoff, Kareem Hunt, and he gets stopped. Okay, third and goal at the three. Let's see what our defense can do. So let's see if we get pressure here. Jameis in the pocket, moving. Nobody to throw it to, it's a sack. How about the game that Henry Anderson is putting on? Three sacks in this one, and we get them to settle for three. So here we are with one more shot here, three minutes left. All three timeouts, that's a completed pass that time to Jamison Crowder for the first down. So first and 10, the Colts send the blitz and we get rid of it. Christopher Herndon hits a first once again, two nice throws by Darnold. So from our own 43, we get the snap off just before the two minute warning. Quick throw, Denzel Mims, first down. That one puts him over the 100 yard mark. So now at the 46, Darnold, another throw. It's Mims again, beating his man in coverage. Another first down. How about the game that Denzel Mims is having? So now we're in the field goal range, but we need seven. Throw, Crowder, he's got it. And let's see if Coach Pep Hamilton calls a timeout. He doesn't, he hurries it up to the line. Draw play call, Le'Veon Bell, and he falls forward. And I think they're gonna give him the first. They don't, third and inches. Snap from the shotgun, Darnold moves. It looks like he's just gonna take it himself. He's got room inside the 10. That one stops the clock too. Now we're inside of a minute. So first and goal at the nine, quick throw. It's Mims, he's got it. He falls forward to about maybe the four, maybe the three. And we elect to hurry it up. We don't call the timeout. 38 seconds in running, Darnold throws. It open to Reek Macklin, touchdown. What can't Tariq Macklin do? Catching the ball, running for touchdowns, 30 to 31. Look at Pep Hamilton. He's being aggressive. He's going for the win here. Down by one. Two-point conversion. The throw, and it's caught. Braxton Berrios. He's been silent all game. They zeroed in on Tariq Macklin. They zeroed in on Mims and Crowder. And look at this. We go to Berrios. It's 32 to 31. So they have all three timeouts now. They only need a field goal, the first pass out to Pittman and he can't get out of bounds. That was a great tackle by Ward, keeping him in bounds. So the Colts call their first timeout. Winston throws the left side. He's got Hunt who stays in bounds again. He could have took that one and ran out of bounds instead of coming back to the ball. It's a timeout. So 21 seconds left here, Winston. One timeout left, throw across the middle, and they're gonna have to burn one here. He dumps it off short, and that one runs it to three seconds. Remember, they only needed a field goal here. So three seconds left, you gotta think they're gonna go to the end zone. Jameis goes to the sideline, and instead, the game is over. He tries to get a play where he gets to the sideline to get into field goal range, but it doesn't work. That was a good play call, but terrible execution, 32 to 31, and the Jets improved to three and one on the season. How about Sam Darnold making some good throws? He only had eight incompletions. Three of those were interceptions, but for the most part, he played pretty well. I say that one that we threw across the middle, that was a wide open. Denzel Mims was probably the worst throw of the game. It resulted in interception. But besides that, I, I would say that Darnold had a decent game. He forced some passes, which we'll get better at. I think we're getting used to these receivers now. How about the game that Mims had, though? 122 yards, eight receptions. He's turning into a young star. Crowder is amazing in the slot. Six receptions, 95 yards. And how about Tariq Macklin running for a touchdown and getting a receiving touchdown? But the story of this one was our defensive line filling in for Quinton Williams. Hopefully he is not hurt long-term. 
Henry Anderson has three. Nathan Shepard has three. And then the number seven overall pick, Brad Matthews, gets a half sack. He only gets credit for the half. But like I said, you know, coming into that game, I was really looking at our secondary and seeing that, hey, do we need to make changes? I think that Ward is doing okay, not great. He does still give up plays. He was giving up some, but T.Y. Hilton only had two catches the whole game, so I'm not mad at that. So it looks like Quinnen Williams will be okay from that game. It looks like it was just for that game. Henry Anderson, though, played extremely well. He's also playing for a new contract. He is a number 25 ranked left end in the league, but he's 30 years old, so I'm still not sold on maybe extending him, but we'll see how he does the rest of the season. George Caver has an upgrade. Remember, he is the backup safety who we drafted in the fifth round to be behind Alex Hopkins. And next week, or next game, I should say, we will go up against the Miami Dolphins, led by Tua Tugavailoa. Seven touchdowns, zero interceptions so far, but they are winless. They are 0-4 so far. Now, they do have two first-round picks in Cameron Watkins and Terrence Kitchens. Watkins plays in the slot. He is a decent guy. He's 94 speed, too, so he's got explosive speed. He also is their kick returner and punt returner. And then Terrence Kitchens is still a rookie. He's still developing. hes I don't think he's as good as, you know, our guy Brad Matthews, but he's pretty decent. So next episode will not actually be that game, though. We will actually go over the 2021 NFL Draft prospects. I guess it's 2022 here in Season 2. So we will go over that and look over the top prospects and pretty much go through a whole prospect showcase in that episode. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned, let's get it, let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications, life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's, and I bought a pair of shades, and I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left, spent the rest on...